so today I'm going to be reading Dragon Hoops. So let's get started. Chapter 4, Coach Phelps. In the early days of basketball, there was no league at the national level. The leagues that did exist were small and regional. Many teams didn't belong to a league at all. They simply they simply barnstormed from one town to the next, challenging local teams to matches. To draw crowds, some uh, took uh, on uh, Edemic Deans. The House of David from New York grew full beards to mo- look more Jewish. San Frisco's Hong uh, Hughes uh, spoke uh, Cantonese on the courts, even though most of them uh, were more comfortable with English. The most uh, re-own, renowned of, of all the phonetic teams were the Harlem Globetrotters. They were from Chicago, but the team's owner added Harlem to their name to make sure audience, audiences knew they were African-American. The Trotters dazzled behind the back pass. Though uh, more, most people knew uh, them for on their co- on court uh, antics, they, were, they weren't just entertainers, they were world-class athletes. Their star player was a guy named Marquis uh, Hanks. At 6 uh, at six oh zero, he was often the smallest player on the court, but it didn't matter. His uh, ball handling, uh, handling skills were unreal. He can make uh, the ball move like the wings of a hummingbird. Pa 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 pa. Before uh, joining the Trotters, Haynes uh, played uh, for Felton Zippa Gales, the famed uh, coach at to Langston University. Coach Zip was nervously by the book. No behind the back passes, no bouncing the ball between the legs, no showboating. In other words, no creativity. Haynes kept his ball handling skills hidden until a game against the Severn University. Pa pa. Jackie Robertson was in the stand. The legendary uh, baseball player was still a couple of years from breaking, breaking uh, Major League Baseball's color barrier, but he had already made a name for himself in the Negro League. Hey, Jackie, this is something you have to, see, you have uh, got to see. Pop, slide, pop, 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 pop. Jackie and the crowd loved it. Coach Zip did not. The hell uh, that fool thing. So that thing he's doing. Later, Coach Zipper found a Michael's head, Haynes in the lo- locker room. Haynes, what did I tell you about showboating? You will never play another game at Langston University. You hear me? Coach, that was the last game of the season, and I'm a senior. Oh, hell. At the turn of the 20th century, many scientists proclaimed that blacks simply were as a fit for athletics as a white. They have inferior uh, muscle strength, inferior reasoning power, lack of a competitive spirit, small lungs, and heavy bones. Marcus Hayes and the Harlem Gob Trotters proved the scientists wrong with every game they played. Old school set a shot, a two handed shot. Today, of course, there was a National League, the Na- National Baseball Association (NBA), the most popular and powerful professional back- basketball, basketball league in the world. The NBA began in uh, six, 1946 as the Basketball Association of America (BAA). They changed their name uh, in the nineteen. 19- 49 when they merged with their rival, the National Basketball League, and the BL. The BAA only uh, began as a white link league. The Philadelphia Warriors, now the Golden State Warriors, in 1946. 
The L and B L was more forward thinking, or perhaps just more desperate, since they since they were the smaller organization at the beginning of the nineteen forty six forty seven season. They signed four black players. Willie King with the Detroit Gems and now、uh, the Los Angeles Angeles Lakers. William Dolly King with the Rochester Royals. Now the Sa- Sacramento Kings. Bill、uh, Farrell with the Youngstown Bears. Now defunct. William Pops、uh, Gates、uh, with the Tri Cities、uh, Black Hawks. Hawks now at the Atlantic Hawks. It seemed like a victory for integration in American sports. Then, on the night of February twenty fourth, nineteen forty seven, the Seacrows tr- Nationals, now the Philadelphia seventy sixers, hosted the Tri Cities Black Blackhawks. With、uh, just five minutes left in the game, the ball got loose. Pop Gates and the Nats、uh, check out. Me and them both went after it. Bump, smack! What the hell, pal? The National Guard had to be called in to restore order. Mihena was rushed to a nearby hospital. Gates later wrote him a letter of apology, and the two tried to put the incident behind them. Me and the told the reporters, "Hops thrown any reading in the book at me." Same goes for the way I treated him. Now one thing straight: this was a, one of those、uh, racial affairs, and perhaps it wasn't for a chick on me. And but by the end of the basketball season, all four African Americans were no longer in the National Base Basketball League. The Tri、uh, City Blackhawks in 1947. Put blacks and whites on the same court, and di- the dinking went, and sooner or later, violence would result. But that、uh, stopped the Harlem Glo- Globetrotters from challenging the all, the all way to Metropolis the Lakers to match. The Lakers accepted, and on February nineteenth, nineteen o forty-eight, the two teams faced off in the front of a, in front of a sold. Out crowd of an eighteen thousand fans. Less than a minute into the game, and Marcos Haynes、uh, took a set shot, hoping to put the first points on the board. His shot fell to good, leaving his hands. Clank swirl drop. The Lakers grabbed the rebound, and then、uh, they、uh, and got the ball、uh, to Georgia and Macan, their center. Swish, standing a six feet ten、uh, tall, Mikan、uh, towered over everyone else. Not just on this particular court, but in this league. Those glasses、uh, made him look mild mannered. His play was so spectacular that his fans gave him the nickname Mr. Basketball. Georgia Mikan was the reason that、uh, the Lakers were considered the best team in the world, the unbeatable team. The first half ended poorly for the Globetrotters. We gotta run him out. We gotta run him, tire him out, and then double team the big guy. Their strategy worked. With a few minutes left in the game, the Trotters had almost tied it up. Then the Armor Robinson、uh, took a shot to, to put the Trotters ahead, playing. The ba- ball bounced high off the rim, and then Marcos Hanning's hands、uh, launched himself after it. Unfortunately for him, so did the Georgia Macan. S- smack, smack. Robertson angrily pointed at Macan, fur- furious that the biggest player on the, the court had to just、uh, run over the smallest. Hmm. Mark, so you all right? I don't know. It hurts. What is it? You're back. You、uh, better come out. No bench out on the bench. I'll step it up. Abe Saperstein, sign、uh, Harlem's Glo- Globetrotters owner and coach. 
I'm good at warm. Let's stay at such step. The step that's demonstrated to the crowd that the Globetrotter star player was going to be all right. Clap, 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 clap. Heinz uh, played the night to uh, rest on the night without a bit of showboating. Hmm. No humbling, burger being no behind the back passes, no creativity. He ended the 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 game with a simple bounce pass to Robin. Mm, bounce. Mm. Blar Swish. The Globetrotters have made history that night. They beat in the unbeatable team. Hmm. As uh, perhaps uh, just as significantly, they prove in once and for all that uh, blacks and whites could indeed play together. The next day, Mark Rose uh, Haynes uh, checked himself into his awesome hospital, where doctors uh, discovered that he had uh, fractured one of his vertebrae. He spent uh, the rest of the season in a, a body cast. Within two years, Nata C- Sweetwater became uh, Clifton and became the first African-American to sign a National ba- Maximal Association contract. More African-American Ned so followed uh, Clifton into the league. By the 1960s, every NBA team has a, had at least a few at least a, a few black players. Walter Chamberlain, only a num and a player to have scored 100 points in a single game. Their presence uh, changed the sport. And by the 1980s, basketball had become faster, higher, and more creative than ever before. Behind the back pass. Irvin Magic Johnson, five-time NBA champion. The showboating pioneered by players like uh, Mark Haynes had become the standard part of the game. The entire world of basketball was changing, and baseball due to high school was no exception. Mike Phelps, who was a coach from his high school years, took over the men's varsity basketball team in uh, 1979. He retired in 2003. My freshman year, there were two black players on the uh, Coach Phelps team. My senior year, there was two uh, white players, so there was a definitely changing of the guard. When did you meet a uh, First meet Coach Phelps. Oh, probably freshman year? Probably an open gym where I practiced. I didn't know who he was or how we owned that he was. To me, he was just another adult. When I first uh, met him, um, when I first uh, my, met Mike Phelps, I got the same impression. Besides coaching basketball, Mike uh, taught math. He and I used to be in the same department. He sat through most of our meetings without saying much. He seemed uh, like just a normal guy. Only he wasn't a normal guy. I got his uh, 400th win while I was playing for him. A few hundred later, he got his 500th, and then 600th, and then his 700th, and then his 800th. Coach retired as uh, the winningest coach in the history of California high school basketball. I didn't know um, much of it until I was uh, at uh, UCLA. John Wooden was retired by then, but he visits sometimes. John Wooden, a legendary co- college coach. That's when I realized uh, just how great a, a coach a Michael Michael Phelps was. I was uh, able to compete with better athletes, McDonald's All Americans, because I was so fundamentally sound. You played at Coach Phelps for three years, right? What position? Well, so many year, I played bench. Ha ha. Junior year, I was a shooting guard and a senior year point guard. Tony had graduated from old dude in uh, 1996. What's Coach Phelps like as a person, I mean? Coach is a really great guy. Really funny, too, once you get to know him. I, he was a male figure that I was um, around the most in high school. If any of his players, past or present, ever called him, he would pick up the phone regardless of what time it was and talk to them. During the season, a player spends more time with his coach than his parents. He had a way of uh, making you feel important no matter who you were. Coach would uh, take five kids at the end of the bench and make uh, them the scout team. They learned the offenses of uh, the opposing teams and run during uh, 
plays during practice. He made us feel uh, like uh, we were contributing. My junior and senior year, my uh, family lived in San Francisco. Coach used to give me rides to the bar station. I could have taken the bus, but coach saved me time. Plus, we got a chance to talk. It's those little things. Your coach giving you a ride somewhere, and that's how you start to build a bond. He was always there for us. He became uh, like a father to me. That, then when it came time for me to go to college, coach found a, me a place uh, to play. Tony played uh, for uh, Cal State Hayward. Did the coach of Phelps uh, help you with college? Ha ha, well. There's one that whispered the criticism against Coach Phelps that dogged him throughout his career. Some uh, believed he favored his white players over his black players. During his first few seasons as old dude's head coach, Phelps had a lanky kid named Brian Straw playing for him. Many in the community saw a lot of potential in Straw, but Phelps never started him, not even uh, during his senior year. In college, Brian Shaw exploded. He led the, the USC Santa Barbara Barrio, uh, Yotras, not known to be a basketball school, to the first ever NCAA tournament. After graduation, Shaw was uh, drafted into the NBA as uh, the number 24 pick overall. He went to play the, in the league for 14 years. His career was almost three times as long as the average uh, NBA players. He played for seven teams. He retired with a three championship rings. Not bad for a kid who never started in high school. So, do you think it was true? The coach at Phelps to favor his uh, white players over his black players? People always said that. As an African American, I never felt that. It might have been uh, before my time. In reality, his favorite of players uh, who ran his he ran his place by the book and ran the best. More, more talented players want to want to be more creative. Not, not so cookie cutter. And if those players happen to be black, well, tell me what happened when you were applying for college. I wanted to walk on at the L U L U C L A, so I needed a letter of recommendation. Walking on it is a pl- was a way for players who weren't actively uh, recruited uh, by college to join the team. I called it up. How about it, coach? Can you write me a letter? I'm sorry, Lou, but I can't do that. And I get it. In hindsight, who really expected me to be able to walk on on at UCLA? But you did, right? You ended up playing uh, for them for two years. Were you uh, trying to prove him wrong? Well, people have always been telling me what I could do and what I could and I could not do. I wanted to prove them all wrong. The player coach relationship is really special. Going to the in-laws of first Thanksgiving. When I was a kid, most of my heroes were fictional. But I guess I, it, that has its advantages too. You know, you can you can always count on Superman to be always Superman, you know. My baseball book, my basketball book is going to be terrible. This again. I'm not sure how... To, I'm not sure how to tell the story without including Mike Phelps. He's such a big part of Lou's and Tony's lives. I will do the basketball. So include Michael Phelps. It's just, remember a few years ago when the uh, math teacher had to force to leave halfway through the year and they had to take over his algebra 2 class? No. What, you mean the guy who made the news? Yeah, that was Mike Phelps. You want to see why I am leave? Why, why I want to leave him out? Yes, but then I don't think I can get the story to work without him. Honey, you'll figure it out, but you got to leave him out. You're right, I'll leave him out. So this is the end of Chapter 4. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!